Joe in real life. I'm super happy today. It's beautiful. Um, I took my weights out into the yard. I was doing some one arm overhead snatches, sets of three and one arm overhead squats. And just felt so good, man. Just, you know what's funny? I did not warm up enough. And like physically, I've got a nagging aches and pains, <laughs> you know? But it didn't matter. Like I still felt just really good. Just happy to be outside. Just happy to have some sun in my eyes and be moving. And as I'm doing these movements, I, I'm just uh, kind of warming up with a snatch here. Just holding the bottom position. Loving this for a warm up. Just feels really good. Just gets my body ready um, so that it knows what kind of stresses I'm going to put it under. And anyway, I got to my sets at three and I topped out at 55 pounds with the bar. And I think I film it, although I might have skipped. But on my second set, I only got a set of two with the left hand. And <laughs> I was bummed. I was like, I was just kind of mad at myself and disappointed. I was really wobbly. And at that point, when I failed the third rep, or actually I failed the second rep, but I popped it back up and got it and failed the third. Um, it was definitely a failure of just not having warmed up enough and not having ingrained the motor pattern enough. The movement's way too complicated for me to just willy-nilly pop in and out of and I was just kind of irritated with myself like part of me suspected that I did better at this a month ago and I hadn't checked my notes you know and I was just like great so I've I've regressed I've lost five pounds maybe ten you know because um, I'm being lazy and I'm being thoughtless and careless and I'm just bumbling into these movements. And I, I, I started going down this whole negative self-talk spiel about how like, how I'm not focused and I'm lazy and I'm stupid and yada, yada, yada. And then I went inside and checked my notebook. <laughs> it's 10 pounds heavier than I did last month for sets of three. It's a lighter. I don't know why I was thinking I got up and down with 65 for three. Um, I only got 70 for one. Like, how would I have, how would I have done that? So, and then the next set, after I went through this and after I checked my notes, the next set, I got the three. So, I don't know. That's funny. I do think there's great benefit in not checking your numbers if you don't remember them offhand and just going with what the body can do like I was wobbly and I should have warmed up better but just by the numbers it actually makes sense I would have struggled with that you know and like I still should have gotten that three on the second set but it's not ridiculous that I would have failed it you know in a month's time, a 10 pound jump, especially for a nuanced movement like this, that's quite a jump, a single arm movement. Um, totally reasonable to fail. And, um, and I was bending myself over a barrel and spanking my bare ass, you know? I, I really gave myself a hard time. We rolled out in the yard, I was feeling so happy and positive and talking myself up and just enjoying the day. And then I failed and it immediately turned on me. I got super negative and just super down on myself. And I don't know, man, like, why am I re why am I recounting this? Well, I think that those experiences, those are part of the joy of working out. And I think that you can psychoanalyze it and come out of it feeling some kind of way, you know? But I'm not sure how valuable that is, and I could be wrong about that. 
I think it's a natural part of the process of learning how to communicate with yourself and how to trust yourself, you know? And now that it's over, I feel a little silly and, but also kind of enriched, you know, and enlivened. Um, a good day of lifting. I could have warmed up better, but so what, man? Some days you're not going to warm up great. So fucking what? Like, um, I opt the weights. The weights moved. I got outside. Um, I have my youngest daughter this weekend. And we're going to go to the beach. We're going to go swimming. The water is going to be really cold. But I promised her I'd get in the water with her. So that's what we're looking forward to today. And I'm just happy. Now, yeah. What else, right? I'm just in a really good mood. I got a new job. I start it next week. I'll be talking about that in future videos. Oh, this is my, yeah, this is my left, 55 on the left. Yeah, as you, I don't have a good grip on that. I can tell that right now. Like that's way over to the side. But also I wasn't lining, I wasn't stacking great on the left today. Um, which is a little ironic because it's the right side that hurts. <laughs> and when I say hurts, I mean, it's just a, it's just a nagging little tweak. Uh, and here's the, here's the one I filmed for shorts, 55 for three on the right. These look good. These look really good right now. The left look like shit. But anyway, that's all I got for today. This is Joe in real life. I love you. Be good to each other. Talk to you tomorrow.